What's up everyone? So today's video would be going to be on an important Ayurvedic herb that is the Ashwagandha which is also used as a fitness supplement these days with a lot of false claims. So in this video we are going to be breaking down the Ashwagandha and I will be giving you the best information related to this herb. So in this video, I am going to answer the four important questions that is what is Ashwagandha, why you should take Ashwagandha and their benefits, which Ashwagandha product you should go for, which will be more beneficial for you and the fourth one would be when and how to take the Ashwagandha supplements so that it can give you maximum benefits. So let's see what is Ashwagandha. So the Ashwagandha powder which you see in the market is derived from the Ashwagandha plant which is generally seen in the Indian subcontinents. So Ashwagandha as the name says Ashwa means horse and Gandha means smell. So the Ashwagandha roots have the smell of the horse that's why it's given the name as Ashwagandha and its botanical name is Vithania somnifera. Somnifera means sleep inducing that's why Ashwagandha is also used to treat insomnia patients. Most of the benefits of the Ashwagandha lies in its roots due to the presence of the alkaloids, steroidal lactones, saponins, free amino acids and other phytochemicals. And out of all the lactones, the withanolids are of high importance when it comes to the medicinal properties of Ashwagandha. So the Ashwagandha has always been used as a medicine in Ayurveda and Yunani and you can also see the mentions of Ashwagandha in ancient scriptures due to its therapeutic benefits which terms Ashwagandha as a Rasayana which means youthful state of mind and body, Bala which promotes strength and Medha Rasaya which means it helps in learning and memory functions. And due to these various important benefits of Ashwagandha it is also classified as an important adaptogen which means that it helps the body to adapt and bring balance in the overall functioning of our body so that it can function in an optimum manner. And it also has all the properties of an adaptogen since it's non-toxic, helps in the overall well-being of human body, reduces and regulates the stress in the humans. Now let's see why you should consume it and what are the benefits of Ashwagandha. So the first one here is that it helps in the reduction of the overall stress and anxiety and it also promotes weight loss. So in the studies it has been seen that it helped to reduce the overall serum cortisol level in our body which is nothing but the stress hormone released by our body whenever we go into the various stresses which can be mental, physical or even the exercise induced stress. So with the 8 weeks of consumption of ashwagandha it has been seen that the serum cortisol level of the people who have been consuming ashwagandha was way less when compared with the placebo groups who were not given the ashwagandha. And it has also been seen that the weight reduction of the individuals who were consuming ashwagandha was greater than that of the individuals who were in the placebo group who were not consuming any ashwagandha pills. So we can't say that directly it's affecting the weight loss journey but since it's reducing the overall stress level and the cortisol levels in the body it is assisting with all the exercises and the food related options which we are maintaining to reduce our weight. So that's the reason you can see that there was a significantly more weight reduction in the individuals who were consuming ashwagandha than the individuals who were not consuming them. The second advantage is that it helps in boosting the overall muscular strength and recovery. In terms of the muscular strength, the evaluation was done based upon the one rep maxes of the bench press and the leg extension. And it was seen that the individuals who were consuming the ashwagandha pills had greater one rep max when compared with the individuals who were in the placebo group. And also the creatine kinase levels in your blood was dropped, which means that the muscle fatigue was less and the recovery was faster when compared with the individuals who were not taking them. The third benefit is that it improves the overall cardiovascular endurance. So with the cardiovascular endurance, the testing was done using the 20 minute shuttle run and after that the VO2 maxes of the individuals who were consuming the pills and who were not consuming the pills, for both of them the VO2 maxes were tested. VO2 max is nothing but the oxygen consumption of a body at the peak level of exertion. So it was seen that the individuals who were consuming ashwagandha pills had a higher VO2 max when compared with the placebo group. So it clearly proves that the ashwagandha has some benefits in relation with the cardiovascular endurance. The fourth benefit is that it enhances the longevity and the anti-aging. In terms of the longevity, the test was done on the C. elegant worms. The test is still not done on the humans. But in terms of the elegant worms, we can say that their lifespan was extended. So based upon this test, there are some claims that it helps in increasing our longevity. And in terms of the anti-aging, the ashwagandha proved to enhance the activity of the telomerase, which reduces the degeneration of our chromosome and increases the genomic stability. 
The fifth advantage is the improvement in the memory and the cognitive functions. You can see the study where you can see some significant difference between the individuals who are consuming the pills and not consuming the pills. The sixth advantage is the sexual wellness in the males and females. In case of the females, the evaluation was done using the female sexual functional index where there was significantly greater results when compared to the group which was not consuming the ashwagandha pills. And in terms of the males, the testing was done on the individuals who were suffering from algiospermia, which means low sperm count. For them, after consumption of ashwagandha from 8 to 12 weeks, there was significant increase in their sperm volume, sperm fertility and sperm motility, which states that there was some benefits after consuming the ashwagandha pills and also their serum testosterone increased from before. But one important thing you have to note here is that ashwagandha is not acting as a testosterone booster. The studies were done on the people who already have low testosterone levels. And there are not many studies on the individuals who already have a normal level of testosterone and after consuming the ashwagandha their testosterone level increased. So don't be in a false claim that the ashwagandha will increase your testosterone. So stop believing the people who are selling their supplements by adding ashwagandha and claiming it to be as a testosterone booster. The seventh benefit is for the people who are suffering from hypothyroidism. For them, there was significant decrease in their thyroid stimulating hormone and increase in the T3 and T4 levels. And the eighth benefit is its anti-inflammatory and anti oxidative properties. That's the reason why it is also used in a lot of skincare and hair care products related to both Ayurveda and the general wellness. Now let's see which ashwagandha product you should buy and how to test its authenticity so that you can get all the benefits as we discussed till now. The first test here is to check whether the ashwagandha powder is coming from the roots or it is a mixture of stem leaves and the roots. So you have to make sure that the ashwagandha powder which has been provided by the company is coming completely from the roots because all the medicinal properties and all the research have been done from the root extract and not from mixture of the leaves and the roots. The second test would be to check the concentration of the cytotoxin methylferrin A which has been seen to be damaging on the cells and having some toxic effects on our cells. So according to the studies it was seen that the 4.5% of this cytotoxin is allowed but above that it might damage our cells. So there are still a lot of studies going on this topic for proving its anti-cancerial properties but right now you have to make sure that there are negligible amount of this cytotoxin when you are going for the ashwagandha powders. The third test would be to check the concentration of the steroidal lactone which is withanolate. So the concentration should not be very high or it should not be very low. It should be in between 5% to 25% because if it's too high then it might act as a pharmaceutical drug or if it's too low then you will require higher amount of the ashwagandha powder to get the benefits out of that. So the ideal recommendation would be in between 5% and 25% and make sure that the testing has been done using the HPLC method. The fourth test would be to check the clinical studies which have been done on a varied population and published in a high quality reliable journals. The fifth test is to make sure that it's a full spectrum extract of the original herb which balances the various constituents of the herb and doesn't over represent any particular constituent which is the withanoloids. So you might have seen a variety of products in the market and even the prices of these products vary significantly. But these are the tests which you have to keep an eye on before buying any genuine ashwagandha products. So to make your job of finding the best ashwagandha product easier, based upon my research and studies, I found that the KSM 66 adheres to all the tests which I mentioned before. And I am not sponsored in this video to talk about them, but purely based upon my research, I found that they are using the full spectrum extract of the ashwagandha powder and all the research and clinical studies have been published on their websites. So here are some of the products which are using this extract. And if you want to buy the products which are using KSM 66 as the ingredients, then you can check out the link in my description. You can purchase the products from Amazon or from any other online stores. When it comes to how you should take the ashwagandha supplements, you can get the ashwagandha supplements either in a powder form, in a capsule form or in liquid form. In any manner you can take it. But make sure that the dosage of this ashwagandha is ranging from 500 to 600 mg since all the clinical studies which have been done on the ashwagandha use the same dose so as to get the benefits of this ashwagandha products. So if you are going for the 300 mg dosage then you can take two capsules per day, once after the breakfast in the morning and the other one after the dinner at night before the sleep. And if you are going for the 500 to 600 mg dosage, then you can take one capsule in the morning after the breakfast or one capsule after the dinner before you go for the sleep. But make sure that you are maintaining this time when you are taking the ashwagandha dosages because in the studies also it has been proven more beneficial when you are sticking to the particular time when you are consuming these supplements. And don't be in this false hopes that you will be getting to see some magical benefits of this supplement in just one day. In most of the studies it has been seen that after 8 to 12 weeks of consumption of this supplement there has been some benefits. 
So make sure that you are consuming it for at least 8 to 12 weeks before you get to see some real benefits of this supplement in terms of your strength, performance and overall well-being. So I hope I cleared a lot of myths regarding the ashwagandha supplements and gave you a clear information based upon the clinical studies and researches. And if you want to learn more about these researches, then I will link down the studies which I referred in the description. You can check out there. And if you found this video valuable, then like this video, share with everyone and subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos on workout and nutrition. And if you wish to train with us, then check out the supperstrength.com where we provide evidence-based nutrition as well as workout coaching to enhance human performance. So we will meet in the next video. Till then, stay supple, stay strong.